Hello, how is everybody doing? I hope very well. Today's recipe is going to be my famous raw apple pie. On Facebook, it received the most likes out of any picture I've posted. It's amazing. It was one of our most loved recipes in our restaurant. So let's just get started. What we need for our apple pie is a nut for our, our, our crust. I'm gonna be using almonds, and then we need a little orange juice for our marinating um, the apple slices in, and uh, some cashews for our dressing we're gonna be making. Um, I am really loving Marcus Sweet Sugars in my desserts that I'm doing because it's so versatile. Um, as I will show you today, I'm using them in two really different ways, um, the powder and the granules, and cinnamon, and that's basically it. So we're gonna start with the apple slices because those do take the longest. Um, you do want them in the dehydrator all day. So rather than saying, oh, this recipe is an all day recipe, I like to say it, it just doesn't take long because you'll have made the apple ringlets in there. You know, you'll have had them going for a while up until you're ready to make the re actual recipe. So I'm going to set my mandolin. I set it on 3 sixteenths. So um, I'm going to be getting that thickness out of my apple slice and I'm going to start on the side, of course, with the uh, Oh, I went a little too far. You're not supposed to go. Yeah, I went too far. So you don't want to go until the um, apple, uh, the seeds come. I was thinking about something else while I was cutting on the mandolin. That's so dangerous. So I removed the ones with the apple uh, seeds. You can juice those for later or whatever. Let's do again one more, starting on the side. There I'm about to hit the seeds. So I'm gonna turn it over and hit the other side. And you know what you can also do um, is do the other ends because these, ye, ye, they could be the tasters as you're going along um, throughout your day. When you're putting them in the dehydrator, they're good at an hour in, they're good two hours in, they're different three hours in, and you are gonna to wanna to go in and take little samples here and there. So you're gonna to wanna to find a plate with, um, with a bow, that, like a bowl that bows down like that because I'm going to marinate them in orange juice and a little maple syrup. I know orange juice is a little sweet already, but desserts are so sweet. We were just in Sedona and we ordered um, pineapple upside down cake for dessert. We never eat the whole dessert. We just take a couple bites and taste it. I just could not believe how much sugar was in this. Compared to a typical American dessert, this is not too sweet of a dessert. So I put about, I don't know, a half a teaspoon in there. Mix it up because, you know, these apples are not going to be that, they're not that sweet. We want them just sweet with like dessert. So we're just going to make them a little sweeter. So... <laughs> The thing about this is you don't want your apples to dry out in the dehydrator. So every few hours, you're gonna wanna go and turn them if you decide to make this recipe, which I think you should. It's just out of this world, the final product. Okay, when they're all coated with OJ, sprinkle a little cinnamon on them. There is no such thing as, well, there is such thing as too much, but. You want to be generous with your cinnamon like that. And then I'm going to put them in the dehydrator and I'm going to remove my apples that have been going all night. Okay, so here are the dehydrated apple slices that have been going all night. Do you see? They're nice. They're moist. They're pliable. Do you see the, it's like they're breaded with cinnamon. It's just so lovely. The crust is your typical pie crust, somewhat. Rather than wheat or flour, we're using nuts as, as the base, and we need a little sweetener. That's where maple syrup comes in, and we need a butter. I don't have any cashew butter, but almond butter works just fine. Because uh, 
This is sticky. We want it sticky so it sticks together. And then just stir it up and making sure that the almond butter is well incorporated with the nuts so it holds everything together. Okay, we're gonna put this aside. So let's work on the whipped cream now. I soaked these cashews last night and then I froze them even more so trying to get that silky, creamy, creamy texture. So yeah, soaking will get that. And then, like I said, I took it a step further. And when you freeze your nuts, you are changing the, the structure of them even more so by freezing them. And I do strongly feel that you get even a more smoother, creamier dressing. For the sweetener in the dressing, I am going to put powdered Marcus sugar. I just put the granules in the blender and blended it on high and got some powdered sugar out of it. So it gives it more of an icing type texture and it's just lovely. And uh, I got a little vanilla bean tip that I shall put in because I'm out of vanilla extract, but that's okay because I have a little vanilla bean, but I don't want the actual bean in it because it'll turn my icing brown. And I'm gonna blend it with good water. Start with just a little bit to get it going. Okay, so we have the crust, the whipped cream, and the filling. How I'm gonna use Marcus's granulated sugar, not the powdered sugar. I'm gonna make cinnamon sugar. Three parts sugar, one part cinnamon. And then, you know, I like, this is how I like to do the plate. I like to sprinkle cinnamon sugar on the bottom of the plate. And then take a ball. Okay, this is the crust. So you make a ball and then flatten it down. See, that's thin, okay? This is like an individual apple pie. I'm sure, I guess you could make one large apple pie, however you decide to do it, if you decide to make it. But these apple slices are just so heavenly. Oh my goodness. Okay, then we have Gorge. And then I went and grated some orange rinds. Picked a flower from my garden. Oh, that looks so delicious, doesn't it? Okay. Boy, oh boy, I wish you were here to join me. Okay, I got a little piece of apple, a little bit of the crust. A nice little dollop of whipped cream. Mm. It is heavenly. And I'm not really into desserts. Mm. The texture, I am so all about texture in my food. This is incredible. The texture of the crunchy crust. And then this unbelievable texture from the apple that's just thick and sticky and pliable and mm, so sweet and yummy. And then this amazing cream on top. Oh, and let us not forget that lovely bit of cinnamon and it's sweet cinnamon in the background. This is unbelievable. It's outrageously delicious, fantastically beautiful. And it's actually good for you because the sugars in here are antioxidant from the maple syrup and Marcus Sweet. So this is like actually good for you too. So I would recommend making it. I urge you guys, please just try one. Mmm, that's so good. Well, Thanks a lot for joining me. I'm so happy all the time to make recipes in my kitchen for you. 
hopefully I get to do that real soon again. Um, take care. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.